Okay, we're getting there. We're almost ready to test our photo upload. We just need an endpoint that we can hit so that we can send an image to that endpoint and go through the process of uploading that image to Cloudinary. So what we'll do, we'll go back to Solution Explorer and in our API, we'll create a new controller and we'll call this Photos Controller. And this is going to derive from our base API controller. And what we'll do is we'll create an HTTP POST method and we'll say public async task and we'll use iAction result and we'll just say add and let's bring in what we need now that the errors have been highlighted. So we need to bring in Microsoft ASP.NET Core MVC and we'll need to bring in system threading tasks. And what we're going to do inside this method, slightly different from what we've needed to do before, we're going to need to give this an attribute to tell our API controller where to find the file. And what we're going to use is from form. And then we can say add dot command and we'll need to get add from using application photos. And then we can specify command and pass the command. And then what we can do is return and use our handle result. And then we can say await and mediator.send and we can pass the command, which obviously includes the file. Or at least we hope it does. And the way that we find that out is by testing. But before we do that, I've always found when we add new controllers that we always get a 404 unless we restart the API controller when we're using .NET Watch Run. So just to be sure, I'm going to stop my API server and re-execute the .NET Watch Run command so that this works the first time, hopefully. Okay, so now that's restarted, we've got our photos controller, we're going to hit our post method and we're going to send up an image which hopefully will make it all the way to Cloudinary and return the photo object to our client. So let's go check. And inside module 16, we've got a method here to log in as Bob and save the token to the environment. We might as well do this just so that we have a new fresh token from our API. And then we've got a method to go and add a photo for this particular user. So the endpoint is API photos. And in the body of our request here, what we're doing is we're sending up form data. So we've got this box checked and then we've got the key, which is set to file. And remember I said if you called your handler inside the add handler, if you called your property something other than file, you would need to change this to reflect what that is. Otherwise it will not work. And then we can go ahead and select an image to upload. So on my desktop, I have an API photos and any image is fine to do this. So just pick any image on your computer, find an image from the internet. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's a JPEG, PNG, then you'll be fine to go and test this functionality. So with that in place, what we should be able to do is click on send. And this should then send our image up to Cloudinary via our API and then send us the result back. And what we can see here is I've got a 200 OK response. I've got an ID for the image. I've got a URL for the image and the is main is set to true. And if I click on this image in Postman and click on send, then this is coming from Cloudinary and we can see that Cloudinary has made this a square image. It's cut off part of his head, but that's fine because the users are gonna have the ability to crop the image on the client side. We're not gonna worry about Cloudinary transforming this itself. Although Cloudinary has that capability, we're just gonna leave it. As long as it's a square image, we're happy. So now that we have this functionality in place, what we'll do next is take a look at how we can delete photos.